Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It. So I'll first up, I'll start by saying apologies for missing my normal every 10th episode is a world download episode because when I came back after my period away from playing and recording Tech It, I uh, miscounted the episode that was coming up next. So I thought I had two episodes to record and then it was the world download, but it turns out I had two episodes to record including the world download. So at the end of this episode, I will include a world download so that obviously anybody who wants it can obviously get the most up-to-date version of my world. And in this particular episode, because we're in a bit of a transition period, while I gather ideas about what I want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off this turbine. So I need some turbine rotor blades and probably some turbine housing. And then I need to set up the old tesseract. Basically, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to relearn what all of this stuff is to try and remind myself what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So we need to go up here and we need to get some things built. So have we got turbine housing? It looks like we do. We only need two of that. Turbine rotor blades, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten might be enough. But we'll take eleven, because I'm probably wrong. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need some tre no, some tesseracts. Mm -hmm. That was easy. Okay, so they're already configured, but I'm sure I'll work it out. Okay, must remember I've got my Wi-Fi as well now, haven't I? Where's my Wi-Fi dongle? Yeah, I can get to things from there as well. So we should. I miscounted, didn't I? I fell short by two, four, five, six. Wow, that's miles off. So let's get some more rotor blades. Again, it should be a pretty instantaneous build because I've now got plenty of things on the go. So I've stepped out. We'll just do a quick double check to make sure I've got all the blades down this side. Yep, all the blades up high. Yep, all the blades down this side. Yep. So we should be able to then put these two in there, and that completes that. Right, so let's have a look at what this one is on the left. So this is water to frequency 99, and that's steam to frequency 9. So we need to change that to input, I think. No, output, so that's input. Okay. So put Tesseract on there. It's going to be water, and it's going to be sending. Sending fluid. And this one is going to be receiving, st really? Steam. Fluid. Nope. Receive only, and it's got steam in it now, which is good. So max flow is 1764. Sure, there's a way to do 100. Yeah, 1764. Activate turbine. What's this supposed to be doing? It's supposed to be emptying the water. Okay, so let's just check what this one's set up as. I'm still relearning all of this. So it's vent. Yeah, it said overflow only. And all exhaust fluids, exhaust fluid tank is not will not fill. So I don't know why this water's not going anywhere. But we can put in place 
should be able to put in place the necessary power cables to get it all churning up nicely. Like so. And then we get that sorted to there. And it's basically just making it look pretty, isn't it? Okay. So that can come out to there. Like so. And I've got too much power for my own good. Literally do. It's ridiculous. But this is going to start generating power relatively quickly. I'll keep an eye on this and see if it does cause me any problems. I've now got to set up my laser drill. So it needs to go like here. I thought maybe under the floor I might find that I had already done it, but it turns out I haven't. Okay, so I need a mining well. I was going to assume I had a mining well. Okay, so we can put the mining well down literally there, and we'll just, I'll deal with the spewing of shit that comes going to come out of it, which is going to just spray everywhere. It's not, it's not a massive problem. That'll do. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. I'll get rid of all of this. Oh, my mouse has got stuck. <laughs> Stupid. Give me this back. Come on. No, it's genuinely going to take me an age to mine it, which is always nice. Come on, give me back. Oh, there is lava. That's bad. Okay, so we need to deal with that. Massive thing of lava, is it? So, the best way to deal with lava is with gravel. Because at least I can get the ball rolling then. So let's grab some gravel. I've only got 23,000 gravel. What am I going to do with myself? I'm just throw a couple of blocks of this down. So, okay, yeah, so that's the one we want to get to. Who knew we were going to have all these problems? Oh, this is going to be a massive pain in my ass, isn't it? So all I intend to do is just do this, the gravel, around the one block that I need. As we all know, gravel is the best absorber of lava you could ever want. And that should allow us to continue through to bedrock. Okay. So, problem solved, you. Okay. So now we need the mining laser. Apparently, I don't have on back order. So, oh, it's not called that, that's why. It's not called that easy if you type it in wrong. So, we need a laser drill. Maybe I have got the laser drill. Nope. So, the laser drill, easy enough. Laser drill precharger, more of a problem. We're going to need eight of them. Hardened glass, I'm pretty sure I can order. Yep, hardened glass, so shall I just put shit like that on there? Okay. So, how much pink slime have I got? 123! I clearly turned on the pink slime generating monster at some point. 
too bad. Oh, we haven't built any yet. Which one of you is in charge of hardened glass? You're in Dirium. So where's hardened glass? Which one of you is... Oh, shit. Have I not got an... Uh, you know, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing it there. Literally right there. Wait a second, the mask looks wrong there. No, the mask is perfectly correct. Okay. So it's making it. So we're going to have a hardened glass. Fardened glass. No, we don't want fardened glass. No one needs fardened glass. Hardened glass. For pre-chargers. Spotty dog. Now, if I remember, I think I've got something on top of the pre-chargers, haven't I? Yes, I need an ender chest black. Ender chest black. That was easy. So, I can put a piece of gravel down. Apparently not at first. In the wrong place. And then I can put down the laser drill. I suppose I should do a quick check to make sure it is drilling the laser. Yep, I just burnt and lost that piece of obsidian. Uh, obsidian brick, obsidian brick, yep, always nice. So I'll get that back into there. And obsidian brick, that one. So I just need the one. Boom, and then we can put these down. One goes there. And there, and there, and there, like so. It still isn't doing its watery thing. Maybe it doesn't need the water. I don't know. I'm sure it'll come to life eventually. What I've done wrong. So we've got one of these on top of each of these. We've also got this on top of here. And then we've got a proper like, resonant energy cell. So I'm going to need three more. didn't really work as I intended to do. Apparently you can't stand on the block you're trying to put the resonant energy cell on top of. Don't tell me that makes sense. It doesn't make sense to anybody. Okay. Like so. So, that's where the existing blue one is, so we need to swap that. So that's the back, it's the front then one, is it? It's gaining power, and then the bottom outputting, and what are these are all set to? 5,100 in, 5,000 out. Oh, five. Nope. Oh, I've all messed up now. So that should be getting some power now then. Good. So let's check my three resident energy cells. It didn't mess about, did it? I am all configured in this world. Everything is built exactly when I want it to get built. Oh. Obs, you can only have them, they don't stack. Interesting how these all are differently configured. And max output five, input five one. It's already sorted. Let's input five, oops, five one. 
can slowly trickle up. Five one, easy peasy. Done, I think. So these are all maxing out. Are these all full as well? Yeah, these are all maxing out as well. So they're all working hard. Another laser drill set up. This probably isn't quite at full speed yet. Oh! Oh, I've messed this all up. I've ruined the whole system. Oh, balancing act is going to have to occur, isn't it? I've dropped the RPM of all of these by adding in the extra one. I need to up the steam, which means I have to up the power of my reactor. I know what I need to do. It's going to here and say... Nope, not down here. It's up here. God, I need to remember this. So these are all set at 60%. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. So I can only do 10% at a time. So let's put each of the corner ones up by 10%. Sorry, let's put all of them by 10%. It's not going to do any disservice to me, is it? So that should hopefully then demand demand some more water and generate some more steam. I have to put it up even higher. Fun, 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 fun. So that's going around and that's going down still. Is this one draining the water yet? No. See, this is intake fluid, exhaust fluid. So vent overflow only. Why are you not accepting steam? Why are you going down? What have I done? I've broken it. I've broken it all. It's all going wrong. Oh no. Oh no, not good, not what I'd intended. So that's that's bad. What have I done here? It's got enough water. This is going down massively. Right, let's up the control rod. Hang on. Have I been a massive bell end? If not 70% in use, it's 70% prevented. Is this what I've done? So I need to put these all down to 50%. Nope, that one's already at something low. Was that what I did wrong? Am I a massive, massive plank? Yes! There we go. I am a massive plank. <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> what a dumbass. So we need to make sure that we have enough fluid in here. Whoa, 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 did that just get rid of like all of my water? No, no, it just changed. Okay. So now these should be going up. So this one can come off of here. Because clearly this isn't working as I intended it to. So if I take... Uh, send, send. So I take this one off of here. Yeah. Definitely blue. So if I put that onto there now, why are you not venting like this one does? This one's all set up the same, except for the fact that that doesn't seem to cause the water to go down in any way. So that's speeding up. That's speeding up. That speeding up. 17 plus 17 34 plus 17 is 51. So is this producing more than 51? Is it producing exactly 51? It's almost like I've designed this system by total fluke to be absolutely perfect. So every 10% seems to be enough to run a new reactor, new new turbine. So I have a whole new turbine activated. Do I have any rubies? I have 57 rubies. 
So I can make like five of these. Ah, oh, six. God, my math is terrible. Six of these. And then I can just cancel that because I need to go and smash smash the rest of them up. So I'll take these six into here and just put in another couple of rows. You know, just keep the aesthetics going. Get this room looking sexy as hell. Cool. So this is. Not yet. This isn't running at full speed, so that's why. So these are all these are going to be drained. Are starting to drain down, aren't they? Oh shit! They've all drained out completely. That's unfortunate. So I really lost that much power. That wow, wow, wow is all I have to say in this situation. I've clearly wow drained a lot of power. So these need to get up to speed. Get back. Get back up to speed now. You need to be. You're supposed to be delivering twenty thousand something RF per tick, because these these bad boys just can't handle it if you don't. Okay. So what I probably should do is have a look if there's any particular laser um, filters. Which which wrong button? The oh they're already here. I'm sure the red one must you know focus on rubies. If I can just get that focused in, then uh, we can get loads and loads of rubies done. So I don't fully remember everything I have to do when it comes to giving you the world download because I can't remember the best thing to do it, but I can't type either. I need to go through and delete some of these. Protection three. Probably worth having that. Uh, it's that one. Did I balls that up? No, protection three. Uh, so I've got a chest, I've got it here, next to the old system, and I drop all of the important things in there, don't need a ruler or a spanner, do you? Uh, ender pouch, the Wi-Fi dongle, and my power suit. Don't need that. Oh, you do if you're going to go to the space station, don't you? You can get oxygen tanks out of the computer. I'm sure you can. So I'll give it to you anyway. So if you need this, then great. It's all here. That should give you everything you need to get yourself traveling around. Obviously, if you can get into the computer, uh, there is the emergency jetpack that you can use to get down from up there to here without dying. Um, other than that, as ever, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope you enjoyed the world download for those of you that like it, and I will see you again soon for the next episode. Make sure to keep posting me your ideas about what it is you want to see me build and create. I've had a couple, so I'm very grateful for those, but again, throw down, throw loads of ideas out into the play, and I'll pick any of the ones I'm interested in, and I'll just start producing episodes, building things. I need ideas, because I've got a few things I want to do, but mostly I want to see what people want me to do. Alright guys, hope you've enjoyed, and as ever, see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you.